you would you describe her level as pretty high or pretty low? Um, it it's probably medium low. Because, like I said, the darker a color is, the lower their access level. It's kind of opposite of what you would normally think. But also think about the uh, the name of the park that you're in. Japanese folks, Asian folks in general, are huge on symbolism. Okay, so if you've got a cherry blossom research park, a cherry blossom color might look. Um, uh, I, I and I'm not. No, Melissa's not PR. I told you she was security, but she can do public relations stuff also. But then all of the security guards uh, can. Um, so, oh, good lord, color theory. Um, I, I, I can't. I can't even begin to touch that. <laughs> no, I shared it from my color view. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, that's, you know, that's what's going on. Uh, those are the two cards that you've got. You, if you did a general comparison between the two cards, you could consider the shades of both the card that Chris picked up and the, and Melissa's card to be kind of in the same area. Okay, um, there, obviously, you know, one of them is purple, so you're not sure exactly what that fits with. Um, and the other one is red, but they, they kind of share a similar level of shading. Does that help at all? Or is that just thoroughly confusing? No, I, I, it, it makes a kind of sense. Uh, we just need to figure out what, what department is what color now. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll kind of add that to the list. We've got, oh, why did it do that? That's weird. Uh, so let's see. We've got that. We've got that. And then um, color coding for badges. We don't need no stinking badges. Okay, and let me see if I can copy that before I hit enter. Because maybe it'll be more easy to deal with. Um, okay, if you guys want to, you can try and roll for computer terminals, unsecure offices, potentially, potentially secure or secret areas, and then color coding charts. Um, and you can kind of communicate between each other and with Melissa to more or less have that conversation point continue you could actually probably ask melissa what the difference is in color coding is because she's she's kind of comfortable with you now you guys uh, oh okay yeah all right um trying to how to word that though um <laughs> You guys can talk amongst yourselves out of character and figure it out if you're if you're not sure. Well you're um, definitely gonna have to bring it up casually. And just go like, hey, what's your rank slash color mean and what are the other colors and ranks? That would be oddly suspicious. So probably when she has to open up an area for us or whatever with your card, you could ask her then. That's not a bad That's idea. That's a good point. Yeah. 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 Not a bad idea. Just uh, curious. Um, uh, just, just kind of a uh, trying to make sense of of the building as we inspect it. That would be useful information to have, I guess. So it would. I, I could pass that off as just professional curiosity. It's like knowing who would be where and how many people would be where. Yeah, because you know when we finish this uh and inspection we're going to do a drill and uh mm -hmm. yeah blah 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 right <laughs> blah 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 yeah okay uh all right well, simple, okay we're going to handle that in a minute i i want to know what everybody else would like to do there are four tasks in my list ginger's doing uh her own task i'm going to have her do a probably a a, a charisma test shortly um but not right this moment uh i want to know what the rest of you are kind of looking at 
if anything at all. Um, we're on the second floor now? Or? Yes, you're on the second floor. And it, it's kind of more of the same as the first floor, though you would manage mm -hmm. these are probably higher level offices. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, that has some importance. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, I guess I'll look in secret areas since I'm probably the only one that has a chance of doing that. Okay, well, don't roll it just yet. Okay, so we've okay. got we've got Peaches dealing with talking to Melissa about the color coding. We've got Nightbird talking about the potentially secure secret areas. What about, um, let's see, Rios and Artorias, you're probably not going to know much about computer terminals, but... Um, Rios, you could probably actually look for a color coding chart if you needed to. Um, or the two of you can look for unsecure offices. Um, so, Chris, did you want to look for computer terminals again? Uh, sure. Okay. Unless somebody else wants to. You guys discussed amongst yourselves for a moment. Uh, no, you go on. What? Huh? Ross? Chicken butt? I'm asking Ross <laughs> if... <laughs> okay, well, uh, Ross is actually uh, uh, going to be looking for the secure secret areas. Okay. okay. Um, so, so then I will guess I'll be the computer. Computer terminals? Okay. Um, Artorius? I'm going to suggest for you looking for open areas, kind of unsecure offices. Would you be all right with that? I'm fine with that. Okay, and then Rios, looking for a color coding chart, you know, that might be right up your alley. Sound fair? Hello? Hello? Sounds fair to me. Yeah, uh, I've, I, I've lost Catherine. Uh, uh, she's muted right now. I absolutely forgot that I am muted. I feel a little <laughs> stupid now. No, no, uh, it happens to all of us. It, I mean, literally, <laughs> it happens to everyone that uses these virtual tabletops. So, I mean, you you mute so that you're you you're not chewing over the over the recording, but then you forget that you're muted. It happens to absolutely everybody. I'm not kidding. Um, okay, so uh, let's start with Nightbird. You go ahead and roll first. And we'll kind of work our, our way up the chart. Difficulty. Um, you know what? Let, we're gonna we're gonna bump that to a twelve again. Okay. Okay. Ooh, ooh! You got a standard success. Okay. Um, you notice that there are probably three doors on this floor that have biometric readers right next to them and they're not large they're not evident it's like they cut out a part of the wall and and the the biometric reader itself is like four by six inches and it is it has a, a color that's just off from the wall okay mm -hmm. um okay None of them are open. Oh, yeah, because it's a human. Right. So. Right. Yeah. Okay. Artorius, um, you're looking for uh, open offices or unsecure offices. Go ahead and just give me a, a standard. I mean, this is just literally looking for doors that are open. Yeah, let's see. Okay. All right, standard success. Um, it not, bad, not, bad. not bad at all. It seems that uh, upper level management um, are less secure than the scrubs downstairs. Okay, so hmm. there, there's probably five out of twenty doors up here that are open. Now, obviously, uh, there's like two break rooms, so those are going to be open. Um, 
uh, one is going to be a copy room. You know what? I'm going to bump that number up a little bit. There's seven that are open. So you've got two break rooms. You've got one copy room. And say, let's say that there is a computer terminal room. It is dark. Um, but you can see the screen. It's a desk that's against a wall. Um, uh, but if you go to point it out to either Chris or Nightbird, uh, whom you know would probably be versed in this sort of thing, uh, they can recognize immediately that this is kind of just a dumb terminal sitting there. You stick in a thumb drive, you do your work, you take your thumb drive with you. That sort of thing. Right. Gotcha, okay. gotcha. Uh, and then, of course, there are offices, uh, other offices that are in there, some with some pretty nice views. Uh, these have uh, people's pictures, family pictures. Um, one of them has a big American flag pinned to the wall. So you can imagine that they probably hired um, uh, a, a Guaylo to, to do some business up there, a, a, a regular round eye person um, to, to work for them up there. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Um, so re uh, any questions real quick before I go to Rios? Nope. Okay. Rios, um, you were going for, are, do you want to roll for the color coding badge thing? Oh yeah, sure. Okay, sure. go ahead. Go ahead and roll. This one's gonna be kind of difficult because you see the color coding on the doors all over the place, but there's no real chart out in the open. So let's gotcha. give. Let's make it a twelve. A find versus twelve. All right. Hopefully, my fashionable knowledge of color theory will be able to help me in this endeavor. <laughs> oh. Oh, Ooh, 36. Okay, so that's an action total of 22 versus a 12 challenging. Okay. You can I know my colors, that baby. Pale, name that pale color and its Pantone number. Okay. <laughs> you can see all the colors of the ultraviolet. Okay. Um, the same office that, that Artorius spots that has the American flag up on the wall... Um, you, with that kind of a role, you kind of see that, um, you kind of think about how, uh, artwork and stuff can be on other walls too. And you just kind of poke your head in to look, you know, more or less, more or less just trying to seem official. There's nobody in the office, but when you're turning your head back to go into the hallway, you see a color coding chart. Okay, and it, it's just a, a small thing. It's not a sticker or anything like that. Um, but the question that I have for you is, do you want to just try and memorize it or take it? I think I want to try and memorize it. Okay. Um, with with the role that you made, we're going to kind of, of say that you, you've got, uh, let's see... It's going to be an easy test later of mind <laughs> to remember stuff, okay? Got it. All right, okay. Uh, Ross, were you saying something? I didn't mean to talk over you. I was trying to suggest her take a picture or something with no flash. <laughs> you know, that's true. Um, uh, it was Chris who was taking yeah, you yes. and Artorias aside to give some training. So if you wanted to, you could snap a photo of it. I had a good, you know what, Ross? That's, they have the cell phones. Yeah. Yep. That was worth a possibility. Because I had completely brain farted that all together. Do you want to do that? Sure. Okay. You snap a picture. Now you don't have to worry about memorizing it. Um, uh, and Melissa is like completely taken up with another tough girl uh, in the group 
So, you know, it's it's kind of like almost a tough girl hen party, if you will, up at the front while um, while Peaches is trying to kind of run things legitimately and all of you are following along to check stuff out. Um, uh, you know, or even walking around on your own to check stuff out, that's fine too. We're, I'm, we didn't determine if we were breaking up the group or not. So uh, it's uh, that part's really not that important. Um, anyway... Uh, it, it's pretty easy to get around and Melissa is is taken with peaches so that uh, she is almost thoroughly distracted okay uh, and and if you well you wouldn't have the the presence of mind to look around for cameras because you don't know beyond the cell phone what a camera is so <laughs> um, yeah, you remember there were a lot of good photos taken of the Titanic and stuff so she might actually have some of that technology. The wars of 18, uh, uh, the, Me the Mexican-Texan wars and stuff like that. There okay. were photos taken. Yeah, so she... All right. She, she, know, she might have the concept. She Okay, so yeah, you've definitely got the concept, but to you, except for the explanation that was given by Chris of how such a big box item can fit into a tiny little phone... Um, uh, or a tiny little box, I should say. Um, y y R Rios and Anden would... Uh, this is a very good point, Peaches. But Rios and Anden would still see these as the old big box things that you actually have to take the cap off of to get enough exposure for the <laughs> picture. So, you know, even though Rios probably understands the concept of finding the camera on the phone... And then pushing the button to take a picture is probably still something that's foreign to her mind, okay, overall. And and she'll see the results later and it'll be like, oh, I, I took that? Okay, cool. You know, or, or whatever. Wow, Bully it's for me. color. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a color. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> okay, uh, Peaches, uh, you wanted to try and get some color stuff out of um, uh, out of Melissa. Uh, as let let let's do you want to? You're not really going to get much more information than can be provided by the picture that Rios just took. But you can have a conversation about it, and it's not really a big security issue. She she just says yes. Red is for security in the building. Um, I've got a darker color because I uh, don't have access to everything in the building. Da 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 da. da. And and she she takes her time and explains that to you. I'm not even going to have you roll uh, now that the the picture will be available. Okay. Um, so these are some good things you guys are getting a hold of. Uh, Chris, roll for um, standard. Roll us. Uh, Yes, roll a standard test for anything but a dumb terminal. You're able to tell the difference um, because you can generally spot a 10, 100, 1000 cable. Actually, in 2017, it was still 10, 100. So, ooh. Okay. Standard success. Standard Woo! success. Okay. Um, one of the offices that I did not provide a description for is indeed connected to an Ethernet cable that runs into uh, one of those round uh, brass uh, connectors that goes into the floor, okay? So that it's not laying around in the office. Make sense? Yes. Okay. Now here comes the serious question. Do you, and, and this is for Chris to answer, uh, and, and but you guys can try and encourage him one way or the other. Do you want to try and go into that office and do anything, or do you just want to let the tour go? Just keep going along with the tour. Uh, how close is the bathroom? Um, the uh, there is one set of bathrooms each at the ends of the hallway. The building is kind of it. it it's 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 a rectangle not a square so on you've got it's it's long length and at the end of each long length are a male and female you know boy and girl 
bathrooms. So, I mean, how far away is it from the office? <laughs> uh, I, I should have answered that the rest of the way. I apologize. Um, it's f I'm going to say it's four office doors down, and you're actually walking away from that set of bathrooms at the time. So, so probably about go a good 35, 40 feet. I'm going to say I'm excusing myself to the bathroom, wait for them to, like, turn a corner or something, mm -hmm. and then head into the office. Okay. You guys play this. You guys go on ahead. I need, head I need the bathroom. I'll be right back. And, uh, then, um, yeah, I'll, I'll make sure that I, 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 uh, park Melissa out of line of sight of you. As we proceed, to, uh, you know, what about these fire extinguishers over here? Let's let's press these buttons. Yeah, no, let's keep on working. Yeah, and he's like, don't pay much mind to it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, hang on just a second. Does anybody else have anything to add to that that might help with the persuasion test that I'm going to have Ginger ma make in a minute? Peaches, go ahead and give me a persuasion test. The target number is a twelve. Oh. And uh -huh. standard is 10 so here's challenging that's 12. Uh -huh. I, i'm gonna be prepared to spend on this too because although Ooh, oh there you go never mind standard success sure. standard success okay so um I, I i might casually toss off out of don't get lost i know you <laughs> no sense of direction that boy and i keep going <laughs> Okay, okay, that's not bad, because initially, Melissa kind of starts to hedge. She's like, well, we really should all stay together. We could go and wait. Um, but you convince her, you persuade her to kind of keep moving. Okay, there's no stealth test or anything like that needed. Chris, do you actually go all the way to the bathroom? Uh, however far I think I need to go to uh the unseen went to slip inside that uh, office. Okay, so you use a good 30 seconds getting away far enough to where uh, the rest of the group kind of turns a corner or goes into another office or something like that to, to look at stuff uh, for maintenance and stuff like that. Uh, but you're back at that office. What, uh, what do you want to do? I'm going to check out that computer. Okay. Um, what specifically are you looking for? Forgive me, group. We're going we're gonna to have to... You know what? We should probably go to the sidebar, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, do you remember how to get there? Or do you want me to drag you down? Okay. Uh, folks, we'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay. All right. Um, what specifically are you looking for? Uh, first off, can I log into this computer terminal? Um, is it logged out? Is it off? What's the situation? The, the terminal is on and it has a, a, a simple word in green, almost like it's the 19, you know, mid eighties, um, that says log on and then the cursor is flashing. Um, but you can already tell from the terminal itself that this computer is pretty much brand new. Okay. And while I'm at it, I'm going to take a quick look at, like, the name for the uh, badge. It was like, does it have, like, doctor or just, like, general sense of, like, what position? I Um... Color that this position is. It says, uh, and and you're gonna want to beat me for this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you anyway. It's uh, I it gives you a name. It's an American name, um, Joe Rogan or something like that. I don't know. Um, uh, and it, it the title underneath is okay. hospitality level three. Okay, Publix division. Mm -hmm. Okay, PR. So purple is PR. 
Uh, no, no. Purple is is hospitality. Now hospitality is is uh, is going to be your maintenance folks. That's going to be your your front desk people. Um, not necessarily. Well, I guess they are in a way public relations, but not. Uh, it, it's it's not that kind of public relations. Everything in Kanawha is going to be public relations based. Um, but what are right. their jobs outside of that? Well, hospitality in this particular instance is going to be um, uh, plumbing toilets, uh, uh, cleaning rooms, making sure that uh, towels and stuff like that are available for any workout areas, da 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 da, -da that sort of thing. So, so that uh, computer is... I'm going to press login just to see what pops up. Well, it, login is on the screen, and then you've got a keyboard sitting there, okay, and a mouse and, and all of that regular stuff. Uh, again, I press login. There is no there is no button for login. Login is listed on the screen. That's what I mean. I get the mouse and click login. There, uh, It's not a link. It's got a cursor behind it. <laughs> yeah, okay, we're dealing with older computer stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, it, it's it this is not Star Trek where where Mr. Scott says computer into the bottom of the mouse. It just doesn't work that way yet. <laughs> you haven't seen that one, have you? Uh no. Oh, man, it's so funny. Search for Spock. Um, uh, Star Trek Search for Spock. It's it's a funny movie. Anyway, so you go to you finally kind of figure out that you you're gonna need to enter something on the keyboard to do a login. Any clue? Sticky note? Um, it, it, do a do a fine test, but it's gonna be difficult at least. Uh, give me a dice roll and let's see what we can what we can interpret from it. Okay, so that find or evidence hunting. analysis, huh? I'm a half find, but what uh, difficulty? Um, just just roll me a dice. Just roll me a dice. I've leave I've it, got a difficulty in standard. mind. Yep, leave it at standard and and let's see. Uh, oh. no, that wouldn't do it. Uh, regardless. So you look around and and you're kind of opening drawers that will open and stuff like that, and you don't really find anything. Um, do you want to try and throw a possibility or a card at it? Oh, no, it's just I mean we established that there is a uh, computer who we can log into a server or whatever, mm -hmm. and. That whatever it is, we're gonna need a password for it. Right. I and if I take too long, I'm gonna uh, draw suspicion. So I'm gonna quietly leave the uh, that office and quickly make my way back to the group. Okay. Uh, as you leave that office, you turn to your right um, to to go down towards where the group is, and you see a Sorari man there who is just basically a standard worker um uh this one is is asian in uh in in makeup uh he's got a, a large cup a large white cup of coffee uh in hand and he he seems to be paying more attention to a report than to you when he sees your feet he looks up at you and and uh he says good afternoon can i help you with anything good. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm kind of separated from my grip. Do you, the other fire inspectors, uh, do you know where they are currently are right now? Uh, uh, so I can join up with them. <laughs> he says, we've got fire inspectors in the building. Uh, yeah, and then he looks surprise, at your badge. But yeah. 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 Yes. The, the annual surprise fire, you know, uh, inspection. Gonna, got, you know, has to happen. Uh, I I'd rather not be here, so I need to get back with my group. Oh, um, I I did not see any of them, so they're uh, since I I just came out of the bathroom down that way. They're probably um uh, and the and the coffee room the the break room down there. They've got better coffee. Um, 
they probably are already on their way back to the elevators. You can go down back that way and go around the corner and you can meet up at the elevators if you prefer. Or you can keep going the direction that you're going and eventually catch Thank up. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Have a have a nice day. All right. So you want to head back up? Two. <laughs> and and he okay. And he gives you a smile as he's walking away, um, and then he returns to his report and his coffee. Um, so, all's well that that uh, sneaks well. Ah, phew. At least we think. Uh, okay, so Chris eventually catches up with you guys uh, at the elevator to the third floor, because there's not really anything else to look at down here. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you found some good, some good clues, some good items, um, stuff like that. Um, and Chris, are you going to try and brief them where, when Melissa is around? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't figure, but I, I thought I'd ask just in case. Um, okay. Uh, any questions before you guys go to the third floor, whether for Melissa or for me? Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I was like, uh, this is taking all day. Come on, hurry up, elevator, that kind of stuff. Uh, what's funny is you've only actually been in the building about 30 minutes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it feels like forever. I'm sweating this one out. <laughs> I was like, oh. I especially because they're doing an infiltration mission. It's taken every second longer. Uh-huh. And what it feels like absolutely necessary. Okay, Ross, what were you saying? I was just letting you know it's like ten after ten. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm trying to bring us to a point where where we can deal with this. Um, okay, third floor. You get up to a rather large cubicle area. I I've got the map prepared, but I don't have your your tokens or anything on it. Um, this this area takes up the entire length and breadth of the building okay um and you see that there are columns all over the place this is your your cubicle work area and it is very very noisy up here um but uh, melissa uh turns you all to the right and you start working your way around the cubicle area um let me uh, okay, there's not going to be any of that. Let me, uh, control V. Okay, computer, there are computer terminals all over the place. Um, I'm just going to give you this information in, in the interest of time because it's not really important to figure it out. Um, there are computer terminals all over the place. Um, you would guess, uh, Chris and, uh, Nightbird that 99% of these are dumb terminals, uh, if they need to connect into an intranet, uh, it is done on a, a double firewall system, uh, you know, where login, you've got to log in with two different passwords to, yeah, to just get to like it. A Something like that, yeah. Uh, unsecure offices um, on the long sides uh, uh, towards the outer walls. There are offices all over the place, and every one of them are unsecure, okay? Um, these have actual walls instead of just cubicles, um, and you guys can look around. You can see all kinds of work that's going on in there. Um, there's everything from quantifying reports from the CDC to providing reports to the CDC. Um, people who are on breaks are doing stock trading, um, and, and things like that. Apparently that's allowed in the company. That's what Melissa tells you. Uh, um, but she doesn't do any stock trading. Uh, she doesn't see the value in it. Um, you know, those sorts of things. Especially uh, in this economy right now. <laughs> yeah. Especially in this economy. Well, in 2017, that was a pretty good economy. So, um, but uh, I mean, then the uh, realities came in, and then the realities came in. So yeah, there you're right. There are some that uh, that are no good. Um, 
Okay, I know how I'm going to handle this, so I don't need to send you guys any message or anything to remind you. Um, you go around the external wall of the building, and there are fire extinguishers, halon systems, sprinklers, uh, uh, things that do not kill computers. They're, they're, so there's there's sprinklers, but they don't deal in actual water. Okay. Um, uh, they, they look like sprinkler. There you go. That's what I was going to do. They look like sprinkler systems, but they're used to suck the oxygen out of the area because you guys would probably guess they're somewhere around two to three hundred million dollars worth of computers in this area. Um, plus people and and stuff like that. And it's on yeah. the third floor, so it's more secure. Go ahead. No, I was just saying cool. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. But um, on my character, go ahead. You know, I, I suspect my character can competently like use a fire key, like you see the round one. Mm -hmm. uh, put it in the whatever lock box, twist it to test, punch you know the test button, make sure it's got a green light. Mm -hmm. Hey, tested system tested. All oh, yeah. right, let's go on to the next. Yeah. And, and that's excellent. That you know right to the last you're you're doing everything that you need to do um now <laughs> um <laughs> okay there's a few things to describe here there is on the south side the south long wall um a larger office it's got two reception desks one to the east east front side or let me rephrase that the east center side and the west center side of that large office it's probably uh, 20 by 30 feet okay so it's it's pretty big this is where your managers and your your call center uh, uh, people are going to be um, for for doing reference uh, reference information from around the world and stuff like that to make sure that uh, uh, quality management is taken care of um, and there is a door in between those two reception desks that uh, uh, Melissa goes to the nearest one and says uh, fire crew is here to do testing would you please buzz us in and you guys get buzzed in like it's nothing now i'm just going to tell you straight out the area here is very secure okay if you look around uh chris and nightbird since you're the tech gurus more than anything you can see that there are both tech 24 um quote unquote lasers the ones that that shoot out directed light to receivers around the room uh and in various places where they would shoot across the floor and for nightbird you recognize that there are high-tech laser systems in the room that basically do the same thing at tech 25 okay mm -hmm. So your technology level. Um, yeah. Now, Nightbird, um, I'm going to steal you and go to the other channel. Okay. Uh, do you know how to get down there yourself? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Please give me. This is a. Separate office area? Uh, this is a large office within the cubicle area. Okay, it's okay. it's kind of like a know, central kind of zone. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably more of the security personnel sit and stuff. Yes, there there are security personnel sitting here, um, but it's mainly for for reception, for gaining reports, for handing out uh, uh, work to be done to various cubicle bunnies. Um, uh, and there is a manager in the office. Um, she is short, she is Japanese, and she is pissed off automatically. Oh. Um, but she is not, she's not pissed off at you. She's pissed off in general. Okay. Oh, she's just, uh, she's got an she's attitude. 
So yeah, they manage your own team. Yes, right. exactly. So if you would be so kind, let me have a find test with a difficulty number of eight. This should not be very difficult. Um, but I, I kind of need that test. Ten plus six, sixteen. Okay, standard success. That's excellent. Okay. As you are entering the office, you are facing the south long side of the building. You see windows in here um, and, and, and whatnot to let in some sunlight, but the windows are almost as dark as what you saw on the first floor. Uh, each successive floor has been a little bit lighter. They um, probably have a type of UV. They probably have a type of UV shading or something, so you can't see in, but you can see out. Exactly. That's that's okay. precisely it. Uh, in the right hand corner, as you're walking into this office, you notice that there is a big box. It's probably six foot by six foot, and it appears to have a single embedded door. And on the wall to the right of that, uh, okay, you've, you've got the box on the actual wall next to that box, not on the box itself. Um, you ha you can see that off that same off color that you saw on the second floor. Do you have okay. any questions? So that's a biometric scanner or something. By the door. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> You're putting something lengthy down. <laughs> yeah, I'm typing this all out. Okay. Do you have any questions before we go back up? Since you um, does it is that door human size or is it animal size? It is human sized. Okay. Uh, the door itself is three and a half feet wide. The the size of a regular hallway. But you don't think, since the, the wall of the building is right behind that box, you don't think it goes to a hallway. I mean, Connell is good at a lot of things, but that kind of cloaking technology, not yet. Okay. So, notes, notes, notes. I love you guys. You're keeping all kinds of notes. Uh, I will try not to put too much in here this coming week uh, well, on Discord. Well, I would have Yeah, I would have to pen a lot of things. <laughs> well, no, I, I can just like cut and paste it to a journal. I just need yeah, to go. Actually, that's a really good idea. If you guys want to cut and paste those to journal, I, I'm you know after after the game or whatever, um, or even now, uh, I think that would be a really good idea. Um, it's just opening the journal and then typing and saving it's a giant pain. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> oh, it certainly is. Uh, okay, so you finish your checks in this room. Um, on your way out, you kind of notice the box that, uh, that, uh, um, Nightbird was, has, has posted in and we'll probably brief you guys on later. Um, but, uh, that box really doesn't have a whole lot of meaning for Chris and Peaches it's gonna seem too small for most things, okay? Um, I've I've already spoken with with uh, Ross about what Nightbird would probably think because Kanawa is is high tech, but they're not that high tech. And then of course Rios mm -hmm. and Artorius would probably be like, I, I it's it's a door, you know. Um, so uh, quick question for you sure. before we continue. Can can I make a journal, or do you have to make one? Uh, you should. Oh, that's right. I haven't made you a journal yet. Um, can you just make me one for like game notes? Uh, let's see. And then I can put, and I can copy okay, some of stuff into it. Storm Knights. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna make one that's called Ross's Game Notes. Um. Okay, that's a new folder. Let's see if that'll allow me to do a journal entry in Storm Knights. Okay. Um, Nightbirds. 
uh, game notes. Would anybody else? There we go. Okay, and you should. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me make sure that you've got permissions. Uh, I'm just going. Okay, where's Ross? Ross, right there. Okay, I'm going to make you the owner of that, and I'm not going to worry about observers unless you want everybody to be able to see those notes. Yeah, everybody can see them. I just want. Okay, then let me configure permissions again, and I'll turn all to, players. Okay. I just want a way to save all this stuff so it doesn't get lost on this one. Yeah, that's great. That That's awesome. As soon as version 10 comes out and I make those various changes, I will be transporting everybody's stuff over, and Game Notes is going to go on the very top. The rest of the stuff you guys can look, for, look through for what you need. Okay. Now... Does anybody else need a game notes um, journal? Uh, I don't think so. You actually, Chris and Pe uh, Peaches, you two have game note journals already. Yeah, yeah, I do. Um, but I, and and I can edit it too. Mm-hmm. See, um, sure. But it just starts out the nights before Christmas. There's nothing about uh, our well, earlier adventures in here. What? On my notes. On my notes. My notes. Not journal. Just just notes. Oh, no, no, no. That's on your character sheet. I'm talking about in the, the journal tab. Uh, journal entries. Yeah, journal entries. Um, if you open up Storm Nights... Uh, and and then it should be crisscross and Penny Peaches Gonzalez, and then if you click on your folder, that will open for you. Okay, this is an earlier version of what I was trying to do, so I'm I'm not gonna get too heavy into it right now, huh? What what was the security lady name? Michelle. 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 Yeah, and you can spell it any any way you want to spell it, um, as long as it's remember or memorable to you. Okay, now um, it's it's what's up? I was just trying to put it in the in the notes. Okay, uh, don't forget you have to run your cursor over it and hit the little pencil that's in the box that shows up, and then you can put the copy those notes in there, and then hit save entry at the bottom or the the little hard drive looking thing at the top right of of all of the symbols that pop up when you hit the pencil thing. Does that help? I'm not sure if this is different from other games or not. No, I don't. Okay. Okay. Um so it's it's 926 my time so that means it's 1026 Ross's time um, do you guys want to try and knock out the fourth floor tonight the laboratories or do you want to just go ahead and and cut it and catch the laboratories next week let's catch the labs next week I say yeah. okay I have school tomorrow school <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's a thing for me again. Yeah, I have work yeah. and school. Work and school. I think you mispronounced prison. Yeah, <laughs> almost nine thirty or so. <laughs> did 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 you did you hear what what Catherine said, Remington? Yeah. <laughs> I think you mispronounced Sorry. prison. That's perfect. Okay, Ross, yeah. what's up? Uh, somebody just take a quick look and see if they can see that. I, I'm looking at it right now, and and it's there. Okay. So yeah. Okay. Cool. Absolutely. Okay. Um, then in that case, my friends, uh, I think we're gonna call it a night. Uh, if unless any of you have any further questions. Yeah, I'm here. Thanks. Uh, well, great. I'll, uh, I'm here. Let's see. Will I see? You? Yes, I should see you all next weekend. So. Yeah. Because it'll be Sunday night, not Saturday night. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. The following weekend, maybe day weekend, I won't be here. Okay. Well, we we might plan to say take Labor Day weekend off. I'm not sure. Uh, it depends on how well the rest of Act Two goes, because you guys are pretty much almost done with Scene One. 
of Act Two. So that's you know that's a lot better than what we had in Act One. So all right. So <laughs> good night, everybody. Um, good night. I, I I hope you all have an awesome week, and we'll see you next week. Take care. Next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that's awesome.